All right, everybody. First update here on my ick-infested quarantine tank. Now, so far, I'm still only seeing it on the neons. I don't see any markings, uh, any white spots or anything on the grommy. And the guppies in there look perfectly normal to me, too. Although, I got to admit, I haven't really inspected the guppies all that closely. The neons, however, are really riddled with it and they no doubt are the ones that brought it into the tank so they were probably infected when i brought them home but a fish can be infected with ick for quite a while before you can actually see the outward appearances of it and even in the early stages of that you've really got to look for it the uh, little white uh, tufts the little white spots that you see on there start out really small and they get bigger and more plentiful as the cycles of ick progress um, I'm going to do a video about ick. I suppose it's time to do that. I've done videos in the past. I walked everybody through a treatment process that I'd done where I heat treated for ick. This time we're going to treat with an all natural product. It's not the harsh medication. It won't hurt inverts and it won't hurt my biological cycle uh, or anything else. And what we are using this time is ick attack. I've used this before when I first got into fish I got ick in one of my tanks and this is what I used it worked just fine so I'm gonna do it again I don't have a heater in this tank and I honestly just don't feel like messing with the whole heat treatment and all of that and neons can't really tolerate the high temperatures that you need to get into uh, when you're treating for ick using heat but as I said, I'm going to do a video all about ick later this afternoon. I'll talk about my experiences with it, everything I know about it. We'll go over the life cycle of ick and different ways to treat for it and different reasons you might want to treat for it this way or that way, uh, you know, depending on your tank or what kind of fish you have. There are different reasons why you might want to take different approaches, and we'll go over all that. It'll be one of my typical uh, long-winded rambly videos, but we'll go over everything I know about ick and uh you know make sure you're subscribed that way you won't miss that coming up but in the meantime just wanted to do a quick update and let you know i did run out to the store this morning i got the uh product that we just looked at the ick attack rather than wait for it to show up in the mail i also came in this morning to find one dead neon you'll notice there's only four of them in there swimming around now so getting started on the treatment as soon as possible is critical and i've already lost one and hopefully I won't lose any more. I did do a double dose of the treatment today. It says that if you've got a really bad infection, you can, you know, kind of start out heavy handed with the stuff and uh, go from there. So we'll see what happens. Uh, as I said, make sure you're subscribed. I will be doing updates on this tank and updates on the progress of the fish in this tank. And I will also be doing the video later uh, specifically about ick. And I'll put that in my layman's lectures. Uh, playlist. One more point about this tank that I had almost forgotten about was when I was in there this morning before I treated for it I did a nice thorough water change. I did a good uh, hardy gravel vac. Uh, that's all part of treating for ick. You really want to get in there and vac the gravel. Again we'll go over that later in my other video. But while I was in there I knocked some stuff around. I sort of moved the cave there on the left around a little bit. I sort of moved the rocks around with the gravel vac and all in hopes of scaring up my missing rubber lip pleco that was in this tank and I saw no trace of it. I didn't see it dart or dash anywhere. So I suspect if the neons have that much ick on them then a bottom dwelling cave dwelling fish will probably have been very very infected and as I said before once the gills get infected there's not a lot you can do uh, if it's a bad infection so we probably no longer have the rubber lip pleco in this tank anyway one final time I'm going to ask you to subscribe thanks again for watching this one stay tuned for updates and I'll see you real soon in the next one